hey guys so this is basically going to be a crash course for the beginners and we'll be seeing how to install Django and create a new project and a new application inside the project so we'll be going through all the topics in Django and covering all the basics for which a user needs to know so here I have already installed Django check the version so you can just you need to have Python installed in your machine for Django to support so just check your version so I have 3.8 and you need pip this pip is install this is pip is required to install all the packages and dependencies so you can check the version using this command and this is a simple command to install Django so I installed Django now and now you can get started with creating your project so let's open our directory and here let us open our first project we'll create here here we have given the command that is Django admin start project and the project name we have given blog here so we can see there is a folder name blog already created here so now let's open and you can see the same name here with a py.py file so let us open this with code open with code so it has opened here so let us open and inside this blog this init.py is just to tell the server that it's a Django project and the settings.py is the where we set all the environment things like database and all the directories and urls.py is where we handle the routing and urls so I just create a simple url and show here so you give path in single quotes testing okay test and give a slash here and here just pass a function name called Sharma coder copy this don't forget to add the comma here just create a function here okay there is something loading over here let's just close this I wonder why it was lagging and now we are going to give here return HTTP response we haven't uh, imported it so first you have to import that from Django dot HTTP import HTTP response so we require this so we imported it HTTP response and here we are going to send it hello coders okay so there's no semicolon in Python so here there's some issue so you have to pass in the request here so you pass the request and here return HTTP response okay so there is a comma missing over here and don't forget to add it here okay so save and now to run your project you have a command so let us open the terminal here we have an inbuilt terminal in VS code so I'm using it so the command goes something like python manage.py run server okay and hit enter so okay there's okay I spelled the manage.py wrong there's a shortcut for this instead of typing the whole python you can type py and give manage.py and run server hit enter and you'll get a message here which is state that it's the development server has started so let us wait for the message so you can see starting development server at this is the localhost colon 8000 this 127 is a localhost address so let us open our browser and we'll go to that address so localhost colon 8000 hit enter and you can see here okay we haven't given the route here so what was the route we created was test okay so hit enter 
so you can see hello coders so what we are HTTP response we had passed we are able to see that now here this response okay so you can just check once again hello Sharma coders just save the file and you can see this is reloading on every time you change make some changes and now you reload the page and you can see so that is the HTTP response here we have got so now we want to render a file here like a HTML file so for that we'll create a new application in the next video we'll see that so in this video we have seen how to install Django and create a new application which is also known as project in Django so we created a new project and we have rendered the HTTP response here so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel and watch the next video in which we will be doing uh, creating a new application which will have all the HTML files and the templates and interacting with the database.